Last year we got Yuji, followed by Gojo, and just recently we had Megumi, and now we have Nobara. She's just come out of Japan, so let's check her out. Hey, 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 how's it going, everyone? Welcome to another video. We're here with Nobara Kugisaki, the latest Jutsu Kaisen SH figure arts to come out. Now, she's just released in Japan today as a retail figure. Um, yeah, the same box design as the previous releases, so that's been Yuji, uh, Megumi, and uh, Gorjo. Uh, we don't have any new announcements yet, but they did hint at some for the recently released um, in the West, uh, the Jutsu Kaisen Zero movie, uh, which came out at Christmas here in Japan and it is a fantastic movie I highly recommend watching it if you haven't yet um, but yeah just swinging around to the front of this figure at least we do have the usual Tamashi quality seal sticker um, and yeah the red looks really nice really kind of suits her fiery personality I reckon um, on the back we do have a nice selection of the accessories that she comes with and she has a decent amount um, there's one or two which I wish she did have which is a bit of a shame but overall a very solid retail release so far um, but yeah let's pop her out and get a closer look at that overall build okay so here we have it in her inner packaging um, obviously we've got the main figure in the center along with the base standard look uh, not too much of an expression there it's pretty neutral uh, though on the left we do have a kind of a <laughs> what is it kind of angry annoyed look with the flowing hair extra head which is cool and then we've got the absolute uh, psychotic gonna kick your ass face and then we're kind of like huh you kind of messing with me look and um, there which is really cool um for her hands uh she does have two here and um, one on top and one down bottom which is for holding the hammer and um, with the little love heart which is cool um along with that she's got the two open hand ones we kind of are uh, making an L shape with her hand and then V2 hands for holding the nails as well so there's one attached to that hand and then three on the bottom one now these are both of the same hand it would have been cool if we had at least one for left and right whereas both of these are for the left hand though we do have a left and right for holding the hammer which is at least nice Okay, so we've got her spinning around here on the turntable now, um, and her overall finish is really nice. I love the kind of dark navy blue colour, um, and the gold trim on her uniform is really nice as well. Same on the box, and there's some nice sculpt marks in there. So her case actually looks really good. Um, the covering of her stockings is nice, and same with her shoes. Uh, so there is a decent contrast between the colours, which works lovely. Um, yeah, the overall is gold, and the folds in her uniform is nice. Uh, this is a somewhat of a hard rubber uh, but it does split out quite nicely compared to some other figures with a similar design now the overall finish and paint job and everything like that on this figure i think it's really nice though on the skirt here there is a bit of a i guess run of extra glue maybe or finisher uh, so i need to see if i can uh, easily remove that later it's not too much of an issue but it is a little bit sloppy there uh, it's a bit hard to tell at the moment but if you kind of lift up your top there is a white trim in there as well so even when you do kind of pose her and move her around uh, you don't get any of those ugly joints underneath and it's quite well designed so starting with her head again like all the other Jutsu Kaisen releases really nice and uh, you can get some really good head tilt going on and then moving forward and back is really nice and smooth as well um, her back has a really nice point of articulation there as well uh, despite only being that main single joint uh, so she can lean back pretty well and leaning forward is pretty decent as well and though since that is kind of flat it does kind of hinder a little bit and if there's a bit more of a kind of curve in her clothing that could have been quite nice um, for her shoulders these are really nice it kind of reminds me of the older Naruto SH figure arts um, pretty straightforward and simple there's no real um, parts of her uniform that will get in the way of articulation does have that slight double joint in this uh, though I guess it's due to the slender um, and kind of smaller body shape and uh, we don't have as much of that forward motion as what I would have liked though she can get her arms all the way forward uh, with any issues and um, back would have been quite nice if that did swing around a little bit further um, before you kind of want to put the arm 
right around and wrap around to the other side. Now for the elbow itself, again, really nice, simple in there. Um, the overall, I guess, uh, design of her overall body um, and proportions um, lend itself really well to articulation. Uh, there's no real weird shapes there to kind of hinder their performance. And the joints look really nice as well. And they blend in pretty cleanly with her uniform. Uh, the hands are the same as basically every other figure. Uh, it works nice, everything swivels and you do have that point of articulation in there which works pretty nicely. Uh, especially with the hammer holding hands, they have the joints line in slightly different locations so you can kind of bend it around a bit further uh, compared to your standard fists. Now for the part that I was like, not I was slightly worried about how it would go, uh, but the skirt here does kind of split apart um, quite nicely. Um, so you can get her legs um, spreading out decently far um, without any too much of an issue there. Uh, the knee joint is really nice, very smooth and blends in quite nicely. Um, though it is just a very single joint in there. Um, I think it does work quite well um, and again it doesn't really stick out or no real issues there at all. I think it looks nice, it's just very simple. But sometimes simple is the way to go. Um, and down to the feet, again nice big ball joint there. Everything moves very smoothly. Um, yeah, not much to say about that, it just works. Same usual toe tip as well. Follow this out of the way. So this skirt, while it is a little bit fiddly at times, um, it doesn't stop the legs from being spreading um, out forward or off to the side. Um, I've noticed with other figures in the past, even though you can move them out, um, the lower part of the clothing design will kind of pull that back in. Um, but the material on the skirt, while it is pretty thick, it doesn't seem to pull the legs back in. Um, when you do move them out, they will hold their position um, nicely. Okay, let's check out the faces. So this is the default, just straight staring look. And yeah, the lines and the printing on it looks really nice. There's some subtle pink for the lips. Everything just looks really nice and clean. And on the side here, we do have the other ear just popping out between the hair on the side. Um, yeah, looks really nice. Got the single long bang down the front. Um, yeah, very clean. Um, and to change the heads, it's really easy as well. Uh, sorry, not the heads, the face plates. Let's pop that front piece of hair off, and then we can take the face plate. So I switched over to the <laughs> kind of open mouth ha huh? uh, look that she does. Um, we've got the nice lines on her forehead there to give that um, exaggeration to her expression. The mouth is painted lovely. Uh, nice peach colours in there. Um, again, the eyes are printed on well. Um, everything just looks super clean. Next up is definitely my favourite face, is that kind of um, angry, don't want to mess with her right now look. Uh, it really reminds me of the last episode of the first season, which is fantastic. If you haven't watched the series, I highly recommend it. Um, it is on Netflix in Japan, and they do have English subtitles as well. Uh, so I assume other countries might have it as well. If not, you can always find a way to access Japan Netflix if you have an account. Anyway, moving on, this one here is just, yeah, it's fantastic. The eyes look great, um, the printing, um, the above the nose marks there, um, everything just works extremely well to really bring forward that emotion. Now for the next head, um, we have to switch it off. The head just pops off extremely easily, uh, no issues there. And then we can just take the head with the flowing here and just um, line up on the ball joint and it'll just pop right on. Uh, this here looks really nice, it's nice, nicely split and parted at the back and just looks really well um, for a wind swept here. Now the face on this one is for kind of angry, again, uh, kind of annoyed look, uh, teeth gritting, um, biting the lip type of a one and the squinting of the eyes is done really well as well. And again the lines really help bring forward that emotion. Um, overall I love the faces on her, uh, it would have been cool to get a really nice big happy smiley face. Um, it's one thing that Tamashii kind of often does is they lack that either really happy face or a really angry one. 
Um, be nice if we always got a good range of emotions for all the characters, uh, so we can kind of play around with different looks. Um, anyway, let's move over to some of the accessories and we'll put on that hammer. Um, so for the hands, um, if you are new to these figures, just grab on the lower arm and the uh, first little hand that you're going to move. Just give it a swivel, make sure it does move, and then just pull it straight and it will pop right off. For putting the hands on, exactly the same way, just grab it there, line up the peg hole and just push it straight. If you push on an angle, that's when you risk breaking them. Now the hammer itself, this just slots in like so, there we go, nice and easy, and that looks cool, check out that heart on the top. Okay, so I switched out her other hand here, with the one with the three nails, and it's looking really good, uh, though Mama does have a little bit extra silver paint there, which I'll need to clean up later, uh, it's a bit of a shame, uh, but sometimes that does come through on some figures. Uh, so yeah, that's one thing to keep an eye for if you're picking her up in the shop, try and have a good close look at that overall finish. Okay, so we've got all of the figures so far out of their boxes here for a size comparison. Um, going from the tallest round, we've got Gorgia, then Megumi, Yuji, and then Nobada. And I think yeah, the overall sizing and scaling for all these four figures works pretty well. Uh, I feel like it's pretty accurate to both the manga and anime, which is great. Um, and all these figures together look amazing. Um, I love the blue colours of them all, um, and yeah, there are subtle differences between them, even though they are basically wearing the same uniform. Uh, the actual gold highlights on Megumi, Nobara, um, the difference in the uh, shoe leather colours work really well, and then obviously usually does have that red hood there. Um, and Gorgia is a slightly lighter blue colour, so they are all slightly different while being pretty similar. Uh, so I think that is quite nice. So when you do have them all lined up together, uh, they look fantastic and they don't all kind of merge into one single blob. So that brings us to the final thoughts for the Nobara Kugisaki SH figure that's release. And yeah, I um, really like her. She's definitely probably one of my favorite out of the four. All the SH figures, Jutsu Kaisen figures have been absolutely fantastic so far with smooth moving joints, great articulation and they really do capture the look of both the manga and anime I reckon and the face designs for them all have been spot on um, and Kugisaki is no exception to that rule now her faces look fantastic, that kind of angry pissed off look uh, the finish on her hammer looks great, it's got the heart, the nails on the between the fingers is excellent um, and the case design is great as well the only thing which I feel is really lacking for me in terms of accessories is a voodoo doll. It would have been great to have um, either one or two of the little straw dolls or maybe even that uh, Curse Spirit's arm I think it was with a nail for it would have been really cool. Uh, something a little bit extra and fun to go in there with this figure. Now each of the uh, figure out so far from uh, Tamashi here they have been kind of lacking on the accessory front. They're kind of lacking that one accessory to take them to the next level. Um, Yuji really could have done with a coxin effect, um, Gorjo, um, maybe another face or a, a effect there, um, and Megumi definitely could have done with one of his um, summons, um, one of the Gyokken. Um, I would love to get a Nui at one point, so I do hope that Tamashi will release a accessory pack down that line, um, and we may actually get some uh, premium Bandai releases in the future too, which will have more accessories, uh, maybe kind of battle damage or those extra looks for them. Uh, so that's something to keep a close eye out for um, in the future. Now the next figures coming out maybe for the movie and uh, there was a tease for that so hopefully we'll get news soon. Um, but yeah I mean I don't really have any negatives for this figure except for the paint job. So not the paint job. Paint job was great. Uh, the extra run of paint on the hand and kind of a, um, extra I think glue on her skirt there is a letdown um, and missing that one straw effect. And that is the main negatives. Um, everything else I think is fantastic. The design, aesthetics, uh, the rest of the finish is great. Uh, the hammer is awesome and the articulation again is excellent. So yeah, that is basically the review for the latest release for the Jutsu Kaisen line. Um, hopefully we'll get some new soon from the next figure. Definitely hoping we get a full uh, second year lineup as well as the Cursed Spirits. Uh, so well, we had two releases last year, 
two so far this year. Um, let's hope we get at least another two or three this year. It'll be fantastic if we do. Anyway, let me know in the comments below what you think about Nobara here. Um, and if you've been collecting the Jutsu Kaisen SX3 uh, slide or not. And if so, which one is your favourite so far? And more importantly, who do you want to come next? I'd love to get Toro to go with Eugene, um, as well as the other second years. But anyway, thank you very much for watching, and until next time, cheers!